फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एरिवन ब्रदर्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पीरियोडिक टेबल दिस पीरियोडिक टेबल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन इन केमिस्ट्री एंड इट इज वेरी बेसिक्स फॉर द केमिस्ट्री इफ यू लर्न ऑल द 118 एलिमेंट्स इफ यू लर्न ऑल द 118 एलिमेंट्स यू विल बी मास्टर इन केमिस्ट्री सून ओके फर्स्ट बिफोर एंटरिंग कर केमिस्ट्री मेन कांसेप्ट्स यू हैव टू लर्न द ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन पीरियोडिक टेबल एंड द you have to know what are the groups what are the periods and what is the elements which elements is metals which elements is non metals which elements is inert gas what is metalloids these type of all basic things you have to know okay in this class we will discuss about the type of things okay thank welcome to our channel okay first periodic table in periodic table they contain 118 elements nearly 90 plus metals 20 plus non metals and remaining some trans is the black elements there are so many metals in a periodic table and some less non metals in the periodic table first we we want to read all the elements once in a periodic table hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon sodium magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur क्लोरीन आर्गन पोटाशियम कैल्शियम स्कैनियम टाइटेनियम वनाडियम क्रोमियम मैंगनीज आयरन कोबाल्ट निकल कॉपर जिंक गैलियम जर्मेनियम आर्सेनिक सेलेनियम ब्रोमीन क्रिप्टॉन रुबीडियम स्ट्रॉन्शियम इट्रियम जिरकोनियम नियोबियम मोलिब्डिनम टेक्नीशियम रुथीनियम रोडियम पैलाडियम सिल्वर कैडमियम इंडियम टीन एंटीमोनी टेलुरियम आयोडिन जीनॉन सीजियम बैरियम आफ्टर सीजियम बैरियम Now to enter the lantern series. What is this one is known as lanthanum series. Lanthanum series. Lanthanum cerium, praseodium, neodymium, promethium, samarium, europium, gallium, terbium, dysprosium, half hafnium, erbium, tulium, ytterbium, lutetium. After this one, hafnium, tantalum, hafnium, tungsten. sorry hafnium tungsten tungsten rhenium osmium iridium platinum gold mercury thallium lead bismuth polonium asphodel red on and francium radium after this this is known as a actinium series actinium series actinium thorium actinium thorium protactinium uranium neptunium plutonium americium Curium, Beryllium, Calphonium, Asterium, Fermium, Molybdenum, Nobelium, Lanthanum, Rutherfordium, Rubidium, Cerium, Borium, Hasium, Mitridium, Ramsodium, Rhodium, Carbonium, Neonium, Flavonium, Moscovium, Liberomium, Tennessee Organism. These are the all elements and their symbols in the periodic table. Now, first we have to learn what are groups. Okay, what are groups? groups in this periodic table there are 18 groups total in this 18 groups we have to first give this number first group second group third fourth fifth and so on 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18th last group okay the groups are known as the vertical columns in the periodic table which all the elements have nearly same properties or gradually change their properties first let you take this period in this period the let you see this period all the elements are metals in the first group these are alkali metals alkali metals but you see you see in Fourteenth group. Here, carbon is a non-metal. Non-metal, and uh, silicon is a metalloid. And uh, the fluorium or lead, this is known as metals. From up to down, there is a gradual change in the properties. This is non-metal, this is metalloid, and this is metal. From this uh, way, we can conclude that. in the 14th group the 
properties of elements changes from non metal to metal they increase metallic character and decrease in non metallic character okay next c in groups there are also some types this is first first group is known as 1a 2a this is 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a and 8a these are the new iu pack the international system give these names in roman numbers this is 2a this is 3a this is 4a 5a 6a 7a and 0 at the group okay what is the last group flippers okay first let's you see what last group tells this last group contain totally seven elements okay totally seven elements these are known as inert gases inert gases inert gases also known as normal gases they are very less quantity in the nature and they are very unreactive to from for, for another gases or another any elements in this inert gases there are some elements like neon argon krypton xenon this like these normal gases give light when they are isolated in a container or a tube when they are isol isolated in a container or a tube they give a light for each each element they give different different uh, lights so it can these inert gases are used in advertisements in some shops okay this is the main use of this one no inert gases and uh, they are used in uh, giving lighting all you know this helium we use it in hot air balloons because the helium is the second light element second lightest element is helium so it can uh, fly hot air balloons very easily so we can use helium in a hot air balloons next we see the seventh a group this is also very important group this group we are also known as halogens this uh, seventh a group we are also known as halogens halogens means which which form salts the elements which come into another elements or another metals to form salts is known as halogens okay in this halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine acetic tungsten these are the main elements present in this halogen here fluorine is the fluorine it has some unique nature it is the most non metallic element non metallic nature because it have more more not highest highest electronegative value that is 4.0 okay that is the specialty of fluorine yeah. chlorine chlorine are also have the unique specialty the chlorine have highest electron affinity okay for due to the small size of fluorine the chlorine have the highest electron affinity than fluorine due to the small size okay these are the main characteristics of the seventh a group or halogen group in this bromine also one specialty it is the one and only non metal present in liquid state one and only non metal present in liquid state okay and iodine iodine is also very useful in our advanced state it is present in mainly in salt in outside they will also sell iodized salt okay like that and this iodine is very good for our health if you take more iodine it will cause us to goiter that like so you have to take in moderate quantity iodine this acidic intense and they are the radioactive elements there is some no uses for that one less uses they are the main uses of the halogen group or the seventh a group next we go and go to sixth a group Sixth A group. This is sixth A group is known as chalcogens. Chalcogens. Sixth A group is known as chalcogens. In this group also we have so many uses. First one oxygen. Oxygen. You know, for oxygen we have so many uses. It can we breathe oxygen, and 
when we are uh, suffering from any disease they keep in ventilator they give oxygen for us artificial air like oxygen also used to oxidize metals and uh, separate another metals on their pores and sulfur selenium tellurium they are also so many uses okay next we go to fifth group this fifth group is uh, nitrogen phosphorus arsenic that like they have so many elements this uh, these also very useful for us and the nitrogen is used in the uh, preservation preservation of uh, chips packets like that because they won't react with the another gases and they will very dirty that like is there so nitrogen is used to preserve the chip chips packets because it is inert in nature inert nature okay because they are inert nature next we see about fourth a group fourth a group the elements present in carbon silicon germanium tin lead ferrum that like okay the carbon have so many so many innumerable uses okay the all the things around us is uh, nearly all the things around us are made up of carbon only from this carbon we can get uh, hydrocarbons and hydrocarbons is the main fuel for uh, for human kind and this carbon is used to in the form of coal we burn we use as full fuel and this carbon is used for uh, plant respiration coming with oxygen and co2 they form co2 it is used for plant transmission and respiration that like okay so there is so many uses for carbon and silicon silicon is the so much abundant in our air and uh, silicon is mainly present in sand like sao2 silicon dioxide germanium tin tin and like that like tin and lead also have so many uses tin can use as uh, the food cans preserved in uh, the food preserved in tins are very preserved and the lead we use in our pencil leads yeah also no next third group is boron boron aluminum gallium indium the, these elements are also very useful in this aluminum is more useful for us because from aluminum we have made in cooking under seal utensils and aluminum seals aluminum foils that like we use so many uses take see about second a group the second a group also known as alkali earth metals alkali earth metals alkali earth metals which occurs in the earth mainly this beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium in this calcium which is used in our bones to strengthen our bones and magnesium which is used in the crackers that like okay after the main first group is alkali metals it is known as alkali metals group this is hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francs and this like in this sodium we also know sodium which present in our salt hnsl that like sodium which uh, burns vigorously when it react with water okay this like so many uses in first group then we see about what are the periods okay let's see about what are the periods okay we will discuss about periods and next are important points in a next class okay thanks for watching this video okay please subscribe like share and comment